G'day world, we've pulled out the zinc plating kit today. Chris from the Hagen factory has brought his axle and uh, some few other bits and pieces from his early 60s Thunderbird flat tracker um, to be zinc plated, cleaned up and zinc plated. So we're gonna have a crack at that and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. Here's a look at the bits and pieces we're gonna be zinc plating today. Just the rear axle, some adjusters and some brake bits. Don't do a lot of zinc plating for customers because it's a fairly time consuming business. We generally just uh, stick to the unique stuff when we're zinc plating. Anyway, here's all the zinc plating bits over here. All set up, ready to go. Have a look at that guys. Who's got one of them? Big twin. Anyway, first things first, we've got the big hydroblasted machine here. What we're going to do is we're going to clean up the parts using that and then whiz them over there into the plating bath and uh, hopefully they'll come back over here and they'll be nice and shiny. We'll have a go at this axle first. So there's the axle out of the hydroblasting cabinet, nice and clean. You could wire buff that uh, to get a shine on it, but I'm not going to because that's got a nice, clean, uniform look to it, so it should zinc plate just nicely. We'll wire that up and we'll take her over and uh, put her in the bath. So we'll quickly dip this axle in the acid pickle just to give it a bit of a uh, an acid bath in case there's any oil residue uh, from the hydroblasting unit left on it. Then we'll just uh, rinse it off in this nice clean water here. And then we'll take it over here. I'll put the camera down and we'll hook her up in the uh, plating solution. So you'll have to take my word for it. It's in there, hanging there. Now what we're gonna do is turn the power supply on and that's 25 square inches of surface area. So we'll set this to about 3.4 amps, I think it was. Well, that axle's been in there about 15 minutes. We'll uh, turn it off, take it out, and have a look at it. <laughs> have a look at that. Right, what we'll do now is we'll rinse that, and then we'll dunk it in the uh, zinc chromate and harden that zinc. So we'll just rinse it off first. Then we'll take it down here, and we'll uh, give it five seconds in the acid pickle. One, two, three, four, five. We will rinse the acid pickle off it in some fresh water. You'll notice I've cleaned that bucket out. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Have a look at that. Right, oh, into the zinc chromate. Fuck. Shit. All right, we've had a bit of a whoops. <laughs> and another bit of a whoops, but... Anyway, that's going to sit in there for about 20 seconds, I reckon. And then we'll uh, dry it off and have a look at it on the bench. That there, my friends, is a freshly zinc plated axle. That looks absolutely gorgeous. That's not going to rust in Ari. Anyway, we'll, I've cleaned up a couple more bits. We'll uh, wire these up and chuck them in the bath and see how they come out. There's the chain adjusters and the brake lever out of the zinc plating bath. They've come up very nice also. So we'll uh, clean up some of this stuff. I'll zinc plate that. And then we'll have a look at the whole lot after the process is completed. And while I've got you, have a look at that. CR80 engine I hydroblasted. Looks a treat, doesn't it? So a quick chat, guys, while I've got stuff over there cooking. As you probably saw on the thumbnail, I'm doing a bit of an algorithm experiment here. I, like many other YouTubers, uh, look at ways of increasing the growth of our channel and getting views and all that sort of stuff. And I watch all these videos where people say, you've got to put 56 or 57 characters in your description. You've got to only have three words in your thumbnail, rah, rah, rah. Well, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna fill the description box with 100 characters or whatever it is. And uh, I'm gonna put a description in there that rivals war and peace, uh, describing all the sort of work I do here. 
uh, and whether that affects Google search and all that sort of stuff. So uh, if you want to see the results of that, I'll, um, I'll put something in my next video and say whether what I did increased views, decreased views, or did nothing at all. So uh, maybe subscribe so you don't miss that video. While you're here, you might as well hit the like button if you like what you're watching. Anyway, back to the uh, zinc plating. Well, love me tender and call me Elvis. Have a look at that lot. That's come up looking nice. I seriously urge anyone that's a hobbyist or wants to do a little bit of plating, get one of these zinc plating kits. They're worth their weight in gold. Just spend a couple hundred bucks. It'll give you no end of fun. Well, there you go, guys. That's a little bit of zinc plating done the Bendigo Hydroblasting way. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, push that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for my little uh, algorithm test results. I'll put that in an upcoming video. And uh, if you feel like watching something else, check out one of those videos. There's something for everyone. And uh, until we meet again, I hope you're all happy in life and doing what you want to do. I am. I'll catch you next time.